The previous video described preparing the piston for motion. This video will begin the case setup process for a spark ignited engine with port fuel injection. You can use the case setup dock in Converge Studio to set up the numerical schemes, physical models, and grid control options. The case setup dock is usually on the right side of the screen. If it is hidden behind another dock, click on the case setup tab in the lower right corner of the screen to display this dock. If the case setup tab is not visible, go to the view menu and check the appropriate checkbox. In the case setup dock, click begin case setup to open the case setup module. Click applications and check the IC engine checkbox. Click apply and a pop-up window will ask if you want to load default engine application values. Click Yes. Next, click on Materials and verify that gas simulation, global transport parameters, and reaction mechanism are checked. Check Parcel Simulation and make sure that Converge Studio automatically selects Species. Click on Simulation Parameters and verify that Run Parameters Simulation time parameters and numerical parameters are checked. Click on Output and Post Processing and verify that Post Variable Selection and Output Files are checked. Click on Boundary Conditions and verify that Boundary is checked. Click Initial Conditions, verify that Regions and Initialization is checked, and check Events. Click on Physical Models, Verify that turbulence modeling is checked, and check spray modeling, combustion modeling, and source sink modeling. Click on grid control, verify that base grid is checked, and check adaptive mesh refinement and fixed embedding. Click done, and the selected options will populate the case setup dock. Converge Studio includes default values for many case setup parameters. Some of these parameters are appropriate for this engine simulation, and some will need to be changed. In the Case Setup dock, click on Engine Application. This dialog box contains essential engine parameters. In the Cylinder Bore field, enter 0 0.086 meters. In the Cylinder Stroke field, enter 0 0.09 meters. In the Connecting Rod Length field, enter 0 0.18 meters. This case does not have a wrist pin offset, so leave the wrist pin offset as zero. Because this case simulates a full intake stroke, the swirl ratio should be zero, so do not change the value of the next two fields. Verify that the head position is zero, and in the crank speed field, enter 3000 RPM. In the references section, Click on the Piston Surface ID drop-down menu and select the Piston Boundary. Select the Liner and Head Boundaries, respectively, for the next two drop-down menus. When you select these three boundaries, Converge can initialize a velocity for the Piston Boundary based on crank speed. Note that you need to define regions before using the Compression Ratio tool so we will return to this feature later in the video series. Click OK to close the engine application dialog box. Next, click on Gas Simulation. Use the recommended defaults for gas simulation, including the redlich quang equation of state. Click on the Gas Thermodynamic Data button. Starting in version 2.2, this dialog box contains thermodynamic data for some species by default. For this simulation, you do not need to supply additional thermodynamic data. If you're using version 2.1 or older, you'll need to import a therm.dat file containing thermodynamic properties for the simulation by clicking on the Import Data from File button, selecting the therm.dat file, and clicking Import. The SI8 Sage PFI archive on the Convergent Science website contains the therm.dat and gas.dat files that you need for this simulation. Refer to the Converge Theory Manual for additional information 
on therm.dat files. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on the Gas Transport Data button. Starting in version 2.2, this dialog box is preloaded with gas transport data. If you're using version 2.1 or older, you will need to import a gas.dat file. Click OK to close the Gas Transport Data dialog box, and click OK again to close the Gas Simulation dialog box. Click on Parcel Simulation. Because this simulation has port fuel injection, we must use the Parcel Simulation dialog box to add the fuel spray species, isooctane. Click on the Predefined Liquids button to launch the Liquid Database dialog box. Converge Studio has some predefined liquids that you can add. Find IC8H18 on this list and click Add Selected. Converge Studio will then add isooctane and fill the Liquid Properties section of this dialog box with the liquid properties of isooctane. Note that data for isooctane must be present in therm.dat. The therm.dat file contains only gas properties, but the isooctane will vaporize, so therm.dat must contain properties for gaseous isooctane. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Global Transport Parameters. This dialog box allows you to change the Prandtl and Schmidt numbers. For this simulation, leave them as their default values. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Reaction Mechanism. You will need to import reactions present in this simulation using a mech.dat file. Click the Import Data from File button. Select the mech.dat file that was included in the SI8 Sage PFI archive and click Import. Converge Studio will import the reaction data and list the elements and species present. This case uses the GIA PRF reaction mechanism, which contains four elements and 48 species. Each species in mech.dat must have corresponding thermodynamic properties in therm.dat. Be sure to verify this if you import your own mechanism. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Species. You do not need to add any additional gas species to the Gas tab because you have already specified the gas species present when you imported the mech.dat file. Click on the Parcel tab and click the plus button to add a new parcel species. In the parcel field you just created, begin typing IC8H18 and Converge Studio will recommend isooctane. Choose this option. Again, when you set up an IC engine simulation, the parcel species that you select should be the liquid fuel used in the engine. Next, click on the Passive tab. Think of a passive as a transported quantity that flows with the fluid like dye. Adding a passive does not affect the flow field and is helpful when you wish to study processes such as scavenging. Click the plus button three times to add three passive fields. Click on one of these fields and enter a passive named intake with a Schmidt number of 0.78. Repeat this to add a cylinder and exhaust passive. each with Schmidt numbers of 0.78. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Run Parameters. Because this is an IC engine simulation, the solver type will automatically be set to transient. You do not need to change any of these default parameters, so click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Simulation Time Parameters. In the Start Time field, Enter minus 520 crank angle degrees, and in the end time field, enter 120 crank angle degrees. Next, enter 5E minus 7, 1E minus 8, and 2.5E minus 5 for the initial, minimum, and maximum time steps, respectively. You do not need to change the CFL limits or the combustion and spray related parameters for this case 
so click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Numerical Parameters. The parameters in this dialog box are set to default values for an engine simulation, and you do not need to change them, so click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Post Variable Selection. In this dialog box, you can select which variables Converge will write to the post.out files to be used for post-processing. In the Typical Parameters and Geometry tab, verify that density, mass, pressure, temperature, and velocity are checked. Next, click on the Species and Passive tab. In the Species box, check the Mass Fraction checkbox and click the Add button twice to add two drop-down menus. Click on a drop-down menu that you just created and select IC8H18. Repeat this for the other two drop-down menus to add O2 and CO2. In the Passive box, check the Passive checkbox and click the Add button two times. Click on one of these drop-down menus and select Intake. Repeat this to add the exhaust and cylinder passives as well. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Output Files. Click on the Interregion Flow Rate Output drop-down menu and select Mass Flux Output for each specified species. This option is recommended for engine simulations and will output information such as the total mass flow from one specified region to another. Then, click on the Glasses button to open the Interregion Flow Rate Output dialog box. Verify that both the Output All Regions and the Output All Species and Passives checkboxes are checked, and click OK. It is good practice to verify that the intervals for writing output are correct. When you are done, click OK to close the Output Files dialog box. The next video will demonstrate how to set up boundary conditions.